I still haven't gotten a chance to optimize how I'm going to be doing these unit reviews, like these new age unit reviews, like a, from like a, a year later from like how I used to do unit reviews back then. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and just freestyle this unit review. I still haven't gotten a chance to write down how I'm going to be doing unit reviews from this day forth, but I definitely will do it after this video. I probably will do it while like I'm editing, but Today, we're going to be doing a unit review on this physical hit. I think I'm just going to be doing unit reviews on just random units for now until I just get like a little graph and I just start Xing out whatever units I haven't did. Uh, but yeah, this hit. Let's go ahead and talk about his uh, SSR. I didn't pull up a video for him just to showcase what he exactly does. But I will make a quick cut to pull up what his little nuking turn looks like. Um, we're going to be using Dokkan World's videos, by the way. Because Dokkan World, is, I mean, shout out to Dokkan World. I mean, hey absolute w source for for videos and i'm not discounting any of the other source videos i used back then but dokkan world right now seems like a good little spot to be doing like uh source videos from but anyways we're going to be talking about this physical hit and uh what his ssr looks like up until what he's looking like today of course metas blah 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 now with that being said, Physical Hit started out as a SSR from April of 2019, that being from the... This was before the Legendary Goku event meta. This was before, I believe, April, May. Yeah, because the Legendary Goku event comes out Goku Day of 2019. Yeah. So this guy comes out a month prior to the Legendary Goku event. So he's a Battle Road unit. And funny enough, you could get away with using him in Battle Road as a last option. And I mean that as a last, last option. Absolutely. Because if he doesn't dodge, which he has his 30% chance to dodge right over here. Uh, wait, no. He has two separate stun prop chances. No, he's actually a, a good option for Battle Road. So he's a Battle Road meta unit. Interesting. I, bro, I swear... I completely did not know he had two separate stun procs. Wow. I probably read his card way back then because I remember this guy first came out and I was like watching a bunch of truth videos and of course farmed this guy up while watching it. I did not realize he had two separate stun procs. So this guy is actually a, he's a good option for battle road back then because he has both these stun chances. He has the two turn stun chance, that being a 30% chance to stun the enemy for two turns from a super attack effect. And he has the one turn stun right over here, just to go ahead and put up on screen the one, the one turn stun from his passive. So he has a 30% chance to stun the attack enemy for one turn in his passive. And then he has the 30% chance to stun the enemy and his super attack effect. So this guy is a, he's a good option for battle road. And another thing is that he's changing in key spheres to rainbow. I mean, although he's changing only one key sphere to rainbow, uh, that's still something, right? He's technically helping out the rotation. He also has a 30% chance to dodge and he gets 66% attack when performing a super attack. But I mean, this attack doesn't really matter. You're not using him for his offense, You're using him for his utility. Him having this rainbow orb changing, albeit it's one orb, is something that is useful I, I would say that it's definitely useful so he is a rainbow orb changer that has dodge chance you would absolutely build him full dodge at this period in time you probably still go with a full dodge build unless you want to go with a full additional build and go ahead and get that uh that chance to have him do additional super if he doesn't stun from his passive or his super attack effect at the time to each his own i'd go with a full dodge build but if you want to go with a full additional build at this time back during the bad bro meta it's not a bad idea because you get a chance, like, provided your luck is uh, terrible and this guy does a super, he doesn't stun from both his passive to a super attack effect, he could get that stun off from a second super and you can be in a good situation. Um, leader skill doesn't really matter. I mean, two key and 30% of the stats to physical, so it's pretty much worthless. You're never ever going to run an SSR as a leader. Of course, the most useful thing about him at the bad of meta was the fact that he is a double stun uh, character. Yeah, 
has dodge in his back pocket although it's only a 30 percent chance which is why i'd recommend going with the dodge build just me personally and i'm not even a big defensive guy i'm just saying that because it just seems like the build that makes the most sense to him just to put that out there and he also is a orb changer so a rainbow orb changer that has dodge chance to fall back on although it's a low chance well it's a medium chance but i'm just saying that's so a 30 percent chance that being a lower chance it's still something to fall back on so he has the defensive ability to fall back on he's a rainbow orb changer that has double stun chances I mean, good battle road meta unit. I, I can't even front. I can't even front. There's something there. Certainly. Um, he has shocking speed. I mean, the link you're going to be looking most to activate with him is definitely Termin of Power. Absolutely, because, I mean, these Termin of Power units are... They, this link holds that team together like glue. It just... It works so well. And of course, shocking speed. Shocking speed, Termin of Power is going to be the two main key links you're going to be activating with him. He has Cold Judgment, too, which is obviously nice for a little extra defense just in case he doesn't stun the enemy or if he doesn't dodge to get that little bit of defense but i mean he's an ssr so he could take a lot of damage if you're not running an item on that turn specifically for this guy in the last slot so that is it for hit i would say that he performed well during the battle room you can use him you can actually use him during those specific stages back then now we get on over to his awakening in June of 2024. So you basically got his awakening uh, almost a month ago because of today, as I'm recording this video, it is July 26th and we are two days away from this guy being a month old. So I like this unit, not only because of his card art, his card art is cool as hell, but I'm pretty certain, isn't he a counter unit? This fucker is a counter unit. <laughs> anyways uh so his leader skill obviously not really something that's notable he physical type three key and 50 percent stats easy area is going to be the only thing i mentioned for that and then that's pretty much that uh his super attack effect his new one of course he gets 30 percent defense in one turn which is obviously quite nice while having a 30 percent chance of stun still so he keeps that 30 percent chance of stun but then they add him uh 30 percent defense one turn which is definitely going to help him provide it uh he's going to be taking normals but the thing is is that when he dodges he's countering but if he takes a normal without dodging, he's going to have that defense to fall back on. Although he is just a free-to-play unit, obviously. And, of course, his stats are quite low. Yeah, like, look at that. Good gravy. That shit is low. Uh, <laughs> anyways, he starts out with 166% attack and defense at the start of turn. And he still randomly changes int keys here to Rainbow. Of course, him being a Rainbow Orb Changer is definitely still quite helpful. Even if it's just one or rainbow orb changing is something that's still very uh helpful to the team so he's pretty much a team player and he also launches an additional attack that has a 66 percent chance to become a super attack with a rainbow key sphere obtained so of course he gets that additional super attack chance when he gets a rainbow key sphere which i really like that him getting one orb is one rainbow orb is directly supported this rainbow orb chain is it, is basically what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that his rainbow orb changing is uh basically supporting his additional super attack chance i i like that a lot absolutely because you can get that chance to do a double super provided using an off meta content if you are using them in off meta content that'd be in battle road so on and so forth and he gets this the uh, the double super off and he doesn't stun in the first one he'll most likely stun in the second one he still has that chance to stun from his uh his ssr so he has a 50% chance to dodge, which is obviously very nice. They bumped it up from a 30% chance to a 50% chance. And he gets an additional 166. Let me go ahead and just highlight the entire thing. He gets an additional 166% attack and defense. An additional 16% chance to dodge when key is 12. So you get him to a 12 key super. When he the supers, he gets 166% attack and defense. And an additional 16% chance to dodge. So he'll get up to a 66% chance to dodge. That's nice. That is nice. I'd definitely say a dodge build is absolutely the way to go with him. Um, What else? He also gets 66% uh, attack and defense with each attack performed within the same turn. Uh, okay. And he gets an additional chance to dodge plus 6% with each super attack performed within the same turn. Okay. And he also counters when he dodges. And he has a 30% chance to, to stun the attacked enemy for one turn. So he still has that double stun chance in both of his, from his super attack effect to his passive, which is quite viable for off meta content. Maybe in some meta content where you could get that stun off. Um, And he also, he's building up dodge chance while getting additional defense with a 16% chance to dodge. He's, he got, he's, he's getting additional dodge chance. I mean... 
<laughs> and on top of that, an additional 66% attack and defense with each attack performed in a turn? I mean, what? If they gave this guy... Bro. If they let him launch more normals, like, with... Oh, okay. This guy's just looking... He's looking pretty solid. I'm not even gonna lie. I don't... <laughs> what do I even say here? Four meta content? I'm not gonna front. He seems like a usable option. Let me go over to Dokkan Info and grab this guy up. Is he on the first page? He is not. Okay, we gotta... Let me go over to cards. Let me get... Let me get to Hitto. Where's Hit? I mean, this guy's looking... He's looking pretty all right. His best, best linking partner is uh the uh, the LR... Uh, god goku and hit which these guys could creep up on the easy a anytime soon i don't know um i mean it's still pretty decent now i would probably say so low key a sleeper card low low key i i think they're all right we're just gonna leave it at that i don't know we're gonna leave it at that um they're 200 well his 200 percent of the skills um in this meta i don't know i think he works he probably works well i this guy seems pretty damn solid he seems pretty damn solid for this man. I think he can work. I think he can work. Um, he's on Jiren's 200% leader skill. He's on five 200% leader skills. The leader skill you're most likely going to be using him on is both. Which, could you get away with using him on Goku Black's leader skill? As a slot three option? I would probably say so. I would go as far to say that this guy can work well as an amazing slot three option. Am immaculate slot three, slot three option. Yeah, absolutely absolutely you're most likely gonna be using on on, mm, on topo's team it's like these two teams for sure and definitely got god go go my god <laughs> goku blacks topos these four teams i would probably say yes kale's kale too but kale she she sucks donkey balls let's just be honest so for this meta i would probably say yeah he can work as a last option if you have nothing else to run and when he gets an easy a He's looking pretty, he's looking pretty good for a free-to-play unit. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to front. He, he's looking pretty good for a free-to-play unit. So for this meta, I would probably say you can get away with running him as like a last option. Yeah, absolutely. For a third slot option. Now, granted, you do have Int Hit, who you can probably say is better than this guy for sure. Because he has the easy A as well as the little uh, disable enemy action, all the other good stuff. But this guy, for certain, not a bad option for a free to play unit so for this meta i would say he's probably a good option to run and then for his ssr still a good option to run yeah viable in his ssr and viable in his tur i gotta use this guy today i gotta we're gonna use this guy today for sure <laughs> so uh with that being said what is good about him is the fact that he is a rainbow he's a rainbow orb changer that supports his additional super attack chance and he also has dodge as well as when he dodges he counters he has two separate stun procs from his passive to his super attack effect he gains defense on super he builds up attack and defense with each attack performed within the same turn he gets additional dodge chance here within with every time he does a super attack within the same turn he also gets additional dodge uh when he's at 12 key which is obviously going to be very easy because you're going to be supering with this guy this guy has a quite a few good things about him for sure the only bad thing about him is the fact that he is a free-to-play unit with uber low stats. You want this guy to dodge. He has to dodge or he could take some serious damage. I think he'd probably take some serious damage for sure. And his link set is a little bit on the funky side. But, you know, Cold Judgment, Tournament of Power, Shocking Speed is going to get him through. Like these three links. It's like Warriors Universe 6. Universe 6, I mean, you got Kefla um, and a couple of other options. Can't think of off the top of my head. Kel, Kel and Khalifa are such, such duds. I'm, I've just soured on that unit. They're, they're easy A, of course. And, of course, some um, experienced fighters, uh, in fight. I mean, you can get that with Jiren, right? Um, let me see what his other best linker partners are. Uh, yeah, you get that with Jiren, but this guy's straight ass. I mean, let's just keep it a beam. So, <laughs> I think that is about it. I said all his 200% of his skills. I talked about for today's meta as well as uh, the prior meta he was in. He was good for his prior meta, and he looks pretty solid for today's meta. I'm not even going to lie um talk about what's good what's bad about him i think that's about it yeah all the 200 percent of the skills best linker partners yeah that's about it i'm gonna have to write down and optimize how i'm doing these interviews but i think that's going to be about it actually i forgot to show a best like turn with uh dokkan world i'm gonna be using this video in today's video um editing dev go ahead and skip on over to it so we can get on with the live stream for today so again shout out to dokkan world uh 
let's just go ahead. Let me mute that real quick. Okay, so yeah, his best link upon He's using his best link upon her. He's on the tech UI Goku's 200% leader skill. So let's go ahead and see. I mean, let's see this first turn. And of course, he's sitting next to God Goku in it, which low key, when they get an easy A. And of course, he has five out of seven links active, starting out with 100k defense. Excuse me. Let's see what he's going to do on this turn. 3.9 million. Oh, it's okay. Of course, he is a free to play unit, so it's going to. He does additional attack and he's building up that attack and defense, right? He counters, dodges and counters, a million. Now, going full crit on him, nah, I still think full dodge is the way to go with him. He he is a, you want this guy to dodge. You want this guy to dodge. He tanked the, is this red zone cell max? And then this, these guys are 8.1 million. Is this red zone cell max? I think this is red zone cell max. Okay, yeah, I, I still think full dodge is the way to go with this card. Absolutely. Crit, I don't know about it for a count at 15 million. You I fucking Goku. All right, let's skip on over to the last part of the, the video so we can see the uh, see the nuking. So, counter. Oh, you know what? No, we got to start this from, from the beginning. I got to see all these counters. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go back. Okay, we got to see this. A whole lot of support in this turn. Using the double kill leader skill too for the 200%. So, one counter. Give us another. Two counters. This is like the little anniversary battle. I think it is. Okay, ready? Three counters. It's hit, not me. He's getting stronger by his counter too, right? Like, watch. Another counter. He's getting stronger. I, I mean, it's going up. Ugh, oh my god, punch the... Oh my god, it's... Punched the shit out of his back. Counter. And. Counter. We're up to 2 million. Is there another one? I saw 15 million in the thumbnail. Does he get stronger when he counters? Or am I crazy? 12.8 million. Did I overlook that? 13.9 million. 15 million. <laughs> <laughs> guys these are hit stats now there is a lot of support in that turn but bro on that he's on a 200% leader skill with a crazy load of support and he's not next to his best linkage partner and he's doing he did a triple super 15 million I, I, <laughs> bro did i overlook something uh Okay, we're, we're, we're done. We're done. I appreciate you guys for watching. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, I, I don't even know what to say. Join the 24 7 Discord server. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to rescript how I do these unit reviews. And I'm going to go ahead and go in a new specific order. But yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Catch the live stream today. Both these videos are going to go up. And then shortly after I'm done with the video editing and all the other stuff, I just throw the videos up. We're doing a live stream. We're doing it. We're going into overdrive today for content. Like, yeah, I said, I said I was going to be doing a weekly live stream for Twitch, which I did one on Monday. I'm not going to lie. I already did one on Monday. I'm not sure if I'm not going to, I'm going to do another one this week. I don't know. I'm definitely going to do one next week. So go ahead and follow me at a uh, BH dev um, for, on, for, on, for Twitch, twitch.tv slash BH dev. Um, what else? I know some of you guys probably clicked off. Uh, and uh, unit reviews every week. This is my first unit review I'm doing for the week. I did a Jiren unit review last week. So that's going to be my unit review for this week. And yeah, custom car reviews and blah, blah, blah. So I'll catch you guys soon. I love you all. Peace.